Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today in this second segment or second episode of this generation and its mentality today i will be speaking about showing body parts to stay relevant oh gosh this one might just trigger some people but you know at the end of the day it's something that needs to be discussed so basically a lot of young girls and a lot of young ladies actually feel the need to show certain body parts just to remain relevant on social media or to remain relevant in society because one thing i've realized is the fact that <laughs> on pretty little thing on boohoo on misguided it's so hard well those are just a few named it's so hard to find clothing like especially like evening stuff or stuff for events it's hard to find clothing that actually cover all the you know all the precious jewels do you know what i'm saying and it's actually getting to a point whereby literally they will sell you string and they will say that that's that's a dress like literally like it just covers the necessary parts but like it's literally got to a point where like nobody nobody wants to conceal their virtue anymore yes you can be virtuous in character but let the virtue in character also manifest in the physical let how you want to perceive yourself also manifest in the physical and why do i say that because how you dress is how you are addressed you can't wear um what's it called um you can't wear batty riders you can't wear crop tops and like all these things showing all that showing um your melons and all of them thing there and not expect to be approached in a certain way because number one yes of course you know you teach of course men as well learn to be disciplined it's not everything you must see it's not everything you must touch you understand but us as women, we can't entirely be like, oh, you men need to learn to discipline yourself. I'm only showing my body because I think it looks good. But you only dress and present yourself to be seen, right? You, you wouldn't dress in a certain way if you don't want to be seen. Does that make sense? Because I won't wear a beautiful gown at an event not to be seen. What am I actually wearing the dress for? Yes, I may just look good in it. And yes, it's befitting to the occasion, but I want to be seen. And quite frankly, you dress to be seen. You dress, you dress the way you want to present yourself, but the way you present yourself, let it also go with how you are as a person. Because there's been times where a girl would dress in a certain type of way. You would assume that she likes to sleep around because of the way she dresses. And yes, it's a wrong way to see someone. But again, how you dress is how you're dressed. If she dresses in a certain type of way, of course, you're going to think that she sleeps around. Of course, you think that she's all this and all that. But really, in reality, she's never even looked at a guy. She's never even touched them. She doesn't even know what kissing means. Do you know what I mean? She doesn't even hog. What's hog? Is that a drink? How you want to perceive yourself and how you know you are inside, let it be showcased on the outside. And for me personally, my dressing has taken a long time to change. Anybody that knows me can testify to this. Hallelujah. We thank Jesus for deliverance. Because quite frankly, <laughs> you know, I'll show you. Do you know what? Let me, should I show pictures? Mm. 
nah maybe another day it's taken a while even when i actually received christ as my lord and savior it actually took me a while to like fix up my dressing and it's not to say that oh if you dress in a certain type of way you're a bad person you're not a bad person god looks at your heart but he also wants you to sh he also wants you to be a living representation of what you carry inside because i can't say oh yes i'm a woman of god or da 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 and you see me in boob tubes and bite riders everywhere i go your people are not going to take me seriously they're gonna think excuse me i thought you said you're a woman of god but like i can really like i'm really getting to know the real you because i'm seeing all the real things about you it's really understanding that okay cool dress the way you want to be perceived but then in the same aspect i want to say stop showing body parts you cannot show breasts and bum yeah unless you want to be seen you want something to show to be seen like i said you dress to be seen you present yourself to be seen the way you dress is a visual representation and a visual presentation of the way you see yourself and the way you see life and why do i say that because you know when you do um when you do presentations you make it look nice you put a background color you choose a font why because you want your presentation to stand out you want your presentation to be seen and acknowledged you yourself as a person the way you dress is a presentation of what you want of what you want others to see of you right so one thing i've realized is that a lot of young girls and young ladies take that into take that mindset that yes, I want to be seen, and yes, I want to present myself in this way, and a lot of you are doing it to stay relevant. Some models pose in certain ways to stay relevant. They promote certain things to stay relevant. Yes, if you're going to pr promote your breasts, and you're going to promote bomb, you're going to stay relevant. People are going to keep wanting to see more because you're already showing it. Like, that's what you're presenting. And that's the issue with this society is that if you're not showing breasts and bum, you're, no, you're not relevant. I've realized that when I go through my Instagram, one pattern I see is you're wearing one piece of cloth like this that just covers like here and covers like the back it just covers enough yeah and i see that you get likes likes and likes and likes every picture is the same you're showing something or one on another all the all the twins are out and i see that you have thousands of likes and people are liking it like if you compare it to an instagram where the the woman is modestly dressed she doesn't get as much likes doesn't get the thousands of likes. Why? When you're showing skin, you're conforming to society's way of living and society's way of thinking, which is why I say this generation, like, what's going on? It's your mentality. Baby girl, it's your mentality that will get you somewhere. And when you always try and conform to the way that society sees things, it shows that you do not have the backbone to be individual. Because if I can see a whole load of Instagrams that are literally the same, you all wear the same dresses, you all wear, um, wear the same, everything the same, everything, breast, bum, in every picture. It just shows that there's a pattern in this generation and people keep trying to go along with this trend that yes, if I show these body parts, yeah, I'm the hottest babe in town, I'm the, I'm the OG mama, I'm the sweetest um, berry in the pack. No, like who told you that? Who told you that? Conceal, uphold your virtue. Some of you have not even touched men. You don't even know what a man is, yeah? And you, you're just showing everything. Conceal your virtue. You're virtuous. I beg, like be pure. Like it's not by force. Some of you to stay relevant, you feel like you must show something. There must, there's some girl yeah some of you young girls i have on instagram yeah ha one time i must have been scrolling through and this girl was wearing just a bra and you could tell it was a bra come on like i knew it was she was just wearing a bra and obviously she had to cleavage out and like i you know what obviously i discerned the fact that 
She wasn't taking the picture because she thought the picture was nice. She took the picture and posted the picture because she wanted to have that kind of attention from other people. And it comes to show that this society, the society's way of thinking. Because how can a young girl just think, yes, let me just post my chest for no reason. It, it comes with the trend in the society that yes, if I show bum and breasts, I am dewarned as an top. You know what? I actually have the right to say all of these things. I beg anybody that has mouth for me today. I, I, I don't have your time. I used to be one of those people. Before when I used to just cover stuff up, I wouldn't get that many likes. And as eventually I jumped on the wave of society, jumped on this generation's wave. And the more pictures I put out of me showing certain things, the more likes I would get and the more attention I would get. Why? Because of the mentality of people in this society. The more flesh you show, the more you're popping. If I felt at that time to jump on the wave of society, it means that me, myself, I'm not original. I don't stand out. I'm not set apart. If I can go along with how society sees things, if I can go along with how people are, if I can follow trends and show everything, everything like everybody else, it means that I'm not original. You can be modest and still have a fashion sense. You can be modest and still be different. You can be modest and still stand out. You can be modest and you still maintain and uphold virtue who told you that modesty and christianity and actually going along with how you are wasn't fun who told you that i'm waiting i'm waiting are you going to tell me who told you that i'm waiting oh you don't have an answer for me who told you who told you that it was okay to just show anything anyhow. Like our parents grew up in a time when modesty was sweet. And the men still love the women. Even with their, their skirts down to their ankles and their turtlenecks up past their heads. The men still love the women. Why? Because what they were inside was coming out more. Because they were concealing what they are on the outside. Let your interior speak for your exterior. I beg. I can actually say all of these things because I was one of those girls. I always wanted to, you know, show where the tightest thing, you know, um, chest out, everything. Um, I didn't care. Do you know what I didn't care is because the more attention I was getting, the more I felt like I was relevant. The more things that I was showing, the more I felt like, yeah, I'm the top babe in the bunch. The more I was showing things, the more I felt like, yeah, like, do you know what? I'm, I'm actually, you know, conforming to society. So therefore, I actually fit in. But the whole point of you being set apart and the whole point of you being an individual that came into this world by yourself, by the way, if you did not know, you were born by yourself. The whole point of me coming into this world by myself was... To be original, to be the only one, Charlene Agatha Retenda Mapundu. And there's nobody else like me. You may have my name. You, we may look alike. I'm talking to my sisters. We may look alike. But there's nobody that can be me. And because there's nobody that can be me, therefore, I must be original. And to be original, I must be exactly who God says that I should be. And therefore, I am relevant in the eyes of the Lord. Why? Because I'm conforming to what God says about me. I'm conforming to who he wants me to be, not who, not who society wants me to be. I'm sorry. I'd rather be set apart than be following trends. I had to tell myself, do you know what, Charlene? You naturally, you're not a person that just um, follows people or does things like just because everyone does it. So why should you be the one to now just be dressing like everybody else? It's just like why? Is it because you want to fit in? Is because you want to be relevant? What is it? And I realized I was doing it because I wanted to stay relevant. I wanted to be relevant in the eyes of people and in the eyes of man because if I wasn't relevant in the eyes of man, that I was not relevant at all. Who told you that again? I beg, I beg, I'm listening. I beg, tell me. Tell me who told you that, that if you're not relevant in the eyes of this generation and in the eyes of other people, that you're not relevant at all. I'm sorry, my darling. In 1 Peter 2, 9, it says, 
I'm a chosen generation. You're a chosen generation. You're a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and his own special people. So if that's a, if if that's in the Bible, that that means no matter how I am or how I dress or how I am in terms of personality, then I am very much relevant in the kingdom of the Lord. And because I'm relevant in the kingdom of the Lord, nobody can tell me anything. So let me conceal myself. If God sees my heart and He understands that I'm trying to match how I am inside with how I am outside, He will see that I'm. A serious candidate and I want to be admired in his eyes he sees that I actually want to be relevant in his eyes yes, you may yes you may have a nice body but it's not by force to be showing it yes you may have um, big juicy melons but it's not by force to show it conceal conceal don't kill <laughs> conceal don't kill uh-huh conceal don't kill uh-huh in first Timothy 2 verse 9 and 10 in like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel with pr propriety, Jesus, every video, I must not know how to speak English. <sighs> propriety and moderation, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly clothing, but which is proper for women professing godliness with good works. Listen, this scripture is basically just saying adorn. Adorn basically means... Um, to make beautiful or make more attractive so the word is basically saying that literally that we should make ourselves beautiful and make ourselves more attractive in modest dressing we should make ourselves beautiful and attractive in concealing our virtue yes your virtue is not just who you are as, who you are as a person but your virtue is even the sensitive parts to be shown i'm sorry breast was not supposed to be shown you know you were given breast to feed a child you know that right bomb was not supposed to be shown you are given that so it can be something you can sit on. Do you understand? And all these things, they were not given for you to just be showing them anyhow. They all have a purpose. Do you understand? So in this in this scripture, I'm understanding it's in modest dressing that I actually make myself look more beautiful. That's basically what this scripture is saying. To adorn yourself in modest apparel may means that in the eyes of the Lord, which who is the one and only person I adm I strive to impress, who I strive to see me as relevant, yeah? If in his eyes I'm seen as more beautiful when I'm dressed modestly and concealing all of and concealing my homes, my homes, my homes, my homes, then that's all that matters at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Because if God sees me beautiful and I see myself the way God sees me, then other people around me will see that I see myself beautiful because God sees me beautiful. <laughs> if that makes sense if you if you if you caught on you caught on you understand that's 10 let um verse 10 says but which is proper for women professing godliness with good works it says it is proper it is proper for a woman that is professing godliness with good works do you know why it says that because if you confess godliness yeah but but mind you this message is for everybody it's for all of you young girls but especially christian ladies as well as I am a Christian lady myself, but I'm speaking to all of you young ladies, all of you um, young girls, all of you. But specifically in the scriptures, talking about if you're, um, but which is proper for women professing godliness with good works, it's proper for a woman that's professing godliness to be modest. Why? Because you show the father that I am a serious candidate. You show him what he has put inside of you is actually what you want to show on the outside. I have in my bio that I am a living representation of his glory, but his glory cannot be shown or professed or expressed if I'm dressing anyhow. I need to dress in a way where when people look at me they actually see the living representation of the lord when i walk anywhere any place i go to his glory should be speaking for me but it can't speak for me if i'm just dressing like anybody because people won't take me seriously 
God might just be like, yes, I see your heart, I see everything. But it must be matched up with how you are on the outside. You go to a job interview, they're not going to take you seriously if you come in tracksuit, if you come in sliders. You, when you dress, especially office jobs, they're not going to take you seriously if you're wearing sliders and a tracksuit. They'll take you seriously when you come with a nice, um, with a nice suit, you know, double-breasted and that, obviously, you know what I mean? They're going to take you seriously because why? They see that you're serious about what you're doing. It shows that you're presenting yourself in a way whereby your personality will match the way you are on the outside. Don't be fooled by the way this world sees things because one of the things I've realized is this world likes to pick and choose what is right, likes to pick and choose what is actually uh, um, decent. If the Bible says it's not decent, so why are you doing it? God says be modest, so you think you can just get away with just showing cleavage. Like, I beg, conceal your virtue, conceal what you are. Don't be doing things to be relevant. Don't do things because it, it, it looks nice and you like, you like the attention of how people, um, you like the attention of others and you like the attention of this society. If you cannot live without the attention of others, then the attention of God will be drawn away from you. If you cannot live without the attention of others, or of this society, or this generation, then the attention of God will be drawn away from you. Because we will see that you rather conform to society's beliefs that more than how he sees you and his beliefs. You can't pick and choose what you will take from um, the secular world and what you'll take from God. Yes, God, I love you, but yeah, I'm going to wear that mini dress because like, I beg, like, let it all match, let it all be consistent. And ladies especially, you do not need to wear anything to be catching man. You don't need to be wearing mini dress to be catching man. Men, secretly, men actually love it when you conceal certain things because, you know, gives them a little taster. <laughs> no, seriously, like, let's actually, we're talking, right? We're talking. They actually like it when you dress modestly because they see that, okay, like, you're wholesome. There's more substance to you. If you show a man what he'll be seeing in marriage, if you've already shown it to him, there won't be that much excitement. Do you know what I mean? Because it will just be like, oh, I've already seen that. Like, what more can you give me? Let us bow our heads and pray. Almighty God, I just thank you for this teaching. I pray that, Mighty Father, let this generation, this generation of young girls and young ladies, Almighty Father, young women, Almighty God, let them be set apart and not follow trends or waves of this generation and not conform to how society sees things. Mighty Father, let them see themselves, oh God, the way you see them, Almighty Father, and not want to be relevant in the society and generation, Almighty Father, that isn't isn't part of your will for them isn't conforming to your will for them isn't allowing you to take over to take over almighty father i just pray that lord jesus these young women young ladies lord that father they look in the mirror and want to conceal and uphold their virtue and present themselves oh god in a way that's wholesome in a way almighty father that allows their their character to speak for themselves and allows them and allows the glory of the Lord to speak for them also. That, Father, they also become living representations of your glory. That your glory takes them from glory to glory and one level to the next, Almighty Father. Because, Lord, the way that they present themselves, the way that they, 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 they dress to be addressed, Almighty God, is in a way, Almighty Father, that you see is serious and you see that, oh God, they, they desire to be relevant in your eyes only. Lord, I just thank you for this time. I pray that, Father, you help each and every single one of us, Almighty Father. And that, Lord Jesus, that we do not adorn ourselves with, with showing body parts that should not be shown. But, Father, adorn ourselves in, in modest apparel, Lord, as it says in your word. Almighty God, I just pray and thank you, Lord. I thank you for this time. I thank you for this teaching. And Father, I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself, upon each and every person watching this video, and that, Lord, you help and guide us all. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Well, God bless you whatever time you watch this video, morning, noon, or night, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.